Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Lone Wolf Exquisite Timing Mission Impossible. That is that level weapons and Iron Man run. A lot of achievements in one run. I need to get a more catchy name, maybe the ultimate run. Something along those lines. There is nothing that you could do unmodded, which is more difficult than this run at least none that i am aware of so good old ivan is well rested has uh, 39 hit points and some grit to work with and we find ourselves nicely in the middle of uh, the enemy base got some spare armor because i learned my lesson you gotta use some spare armor whenever possible we could even repair some of it um but we haven't used time for it anyways we got our winchester well modified and still in a decent condition got an auto five uh, not so much in a great condition got our ak and we're rocking the g36 for now i'm going dual weapons as i don't think that we're going to use a lot of explosives not immediately and we're going to start with uh, fort brigand Lots of enemies here. And the idea really would be killing the enemies, maybe travel back and forth uh, so that we're, that we're actually safe. That alarm, I don't care. Gilles Lefumer, uh, he is the smoker. He hasn't spotted us out yet. Good, we're just going in and out, in and out uh, until the building is clear, and then we're going to make our way upstairs. This is potentially one of the more difficult fights, but with the back and forth, it might be actually relatively easy. Let's see. All of the enemies are well armored, so there is not much we can do. Oh, nice. Nine, uh, 69 damage reduction. 69% uh, and a lot of damage reduction. All right. We're putting that up there. And uh, Ivan takes cover. Let's wait for the enemies to slowly come in. There's this one letter. Okay, that could be a bit of a problem. Uh, let's hope they haven't figured that out yet. Alright, Fouchot himself decides to join. immediately reduces our armor you know what we think about that okay does this here have heavy penetration yes it does switch weapon Okay, well, that was good. Um, we do not have sneak mode anymore, so what I would suggest is we are retreating. Fusho is dead. We're just healing. 
reloading, healing. And we're Gucci so far. Reload the weapon as well. And unfortunately the Winchester doesn't have full armor uh, piercing. So that's the only thing that it does not have going for it. Everything else fantastic. Great uh, ammo. The 44 rounds are easy to gain. Good, we've already seen there are enemies over there. I sneak agents of enemy. few more enemies to die and I think we've killed for sure not sure why his body just disappeared but we need to defeat his troops as well so it's not just him Good, then there is Sergeant Paris. Uh, we're going to deal with him in a second. Trooper saw someone die. Okay, that's of course not good. In which case, good old Ivan uh, is uh, going to take the other route. Once the guys upstairs figure out what they want. Let's try to clear the balcony and this building here so that we do have a safe anchor. enemies understand where I am or do they just not know it's also a nice little room because the enemies can't come in so you can essentially hit them They have sort of given up on finding me, which is okay. Sergeant Paris was the one standing on the balcony. Just exchanging a little bit of armor for now. And we are back to turn-based combat.
Okay, one after the other needs to die. Good, if anyone has found a body, then that means it must be somewhere around the building. Ooh. I'm up here saying, yeah, I can't use hollow point here. Wait, 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 that's it. taking armor piercing okay hmm. let's use the MG just because I like one of those Rambo moments we did not have that yet close around with his uh, with his rocket launcher that'll be one shot dead for us all right steps away moves over here hides Okay, cool. Too bad you can't turn around uh, those heavy MGs. That would, that actually you should have a mod in order to do that. If you could just turn around Turn it around slightly, even with higher um, AP in order to do that. That would be helpful. Good, I want to get extra grit, so I'm starting in the open here. Should have uh, done Overwatch in this direction in the meantime. There's no downside uh, of doing that. Again, getting the last bit of grit. So that we do a 30 grit. Unload, scrap, unload, scrap. We do have gas grenades. Um, yeah, these are just the normal gas grenades. Unfortunately, not the good ones. The mustard gas grenades that uh, the colonel and his men are so fond of using. Yeah, 
Put anyone over here? No. So we killed kind of the first shock troop that came down. Cleared this house. I have no idea how many enemies are we fighting against. What's left? 18? <clears throat> Not even sure if that is what's really left or if that was the original garrison. Dropped a couple of rockets, that's good. And someone say, saw someone else die. Fair enough. In that case, we're just going to go here, reload, and build up some grid. The enemy is getting their act together. I hide. Hmm. Okay. Let's get the other th uh, 15 grid. I like how we can get up to 30 grid, which is as many hit points as we normally have with uh, Ivan. Grid is a good mechanic. Truly appreciate it. I would have liked to take Line Breaker instead, but it is still a good mechanic. Good, I'm pretty sure a sergeant saw someone die over there. Yes, I sneak. Let's give it, let's say, half a minute or a minute to just double check if someone else is strolling along here. Yep, you can always count on the patrols. And if a trooper saw someone die, that means there are either troopers in the tent still, which is not unlikely, could be like here or here, or they are um, on uh, the barricades. Good. If uh, no one else has a problem with that, we're just going to continue and snipe one by one. So far, the guys, so far, the AI is basically ignoring it. Okay. We removed our own cover here. I sneak. At least we can now with confidence say that there was no one in here and very likely no one in the tents. Give it another, say, 30 seconds and uh, then I believe we've gotten all of the patrols. I will keep the Metavion for now the increased damage 
from the Berserker Park is too good. All right, fantastic. I figured at the moment that I would move back, you guys would come. Like little flies. Drawn to the light. The Winchester is so good. No further movement. I sneak. Double checking. Uh, yeah, those are beyond repair, unfortunately. But we finally have armor. That is great. Okay, so if I go back here, are you guys essentially following up? I do have the suspicion that the AI kind of knows where we are and just plays a very elusive game of cat and mouse with us. Nope, must have been complete um, coincidence that both of them moved up. We'll make our way over here and clear out the rest. Pretty sure everybody up here should be dead by now. Right? Okay. All right, interesting. dangerous we do not need we do not need to rock the boat Some of you need to wander off. Siege Engineer isn't that dangerous by itself. The troopers are way more dangerous. Good, we're hunkering down. Siege Engineer doesn't know where we are. These are the gun, uh, guys with the mortars. All right, reload, take cover. That's the trooper whom we have seen before hand over here. Tries to find out what's going on, but we are silent and deadly. Like a fart. Okay, here we go. And at this one's life, continuing to wait. 
We have a really good position here. But potentially now the turn will go out of combat again. It's usually two turns after the last one died if they can't find you. Kind of goes out of combat. Okay, apparently the siege engineer has has re aggroed. Now we're just going to wait until he comes back up. Good, any loot that is meaningful? No, not yet. go I was waiting for you buddy and the fact that no one cried wolves as you were falling down tells me that there's no one here and potentially the rest of the guys are somewhat back there of enemies they not see a rival of attack into here they didn't see that right okay he dropped the mortar Yeah, but they are immune to their own gas, so we're scra uh, scratching that. Not a great weapon against them. It is an overall very good weapon. Good, are you guys just going to hang around there? Okay. Currently the answer is yes. Positioned face. They have again no idea where we are. Nah. It's not necessary to immediately shoot. I rather would like to have a backup in case I'm missing. Well, the alarm has been uh, sounding four times by now, so. I doubt anyone else will be very interested in it. Get to your positions. Not 
Not dead yet. Okay. Good, we took three out. I still don't know where we are. Moving over here just to double check that no one is coming from here. Yeah, we're taking cover again. Let's see where the enemy is going. I hear a bit of movement sort of from there, but not sure. Maybe someone down here saw them. I mean, we were still in combat, so someone must have been around this proximity. I hope it is no one on, on the low. hasn't triggered anyone I find the thing NATO rounds great everything else seems to be like super locked okay wonderful Well, listen, that only means it, the, the last guy must be somewhere here on the other side. If it is one last guy, maybe it's multiple, who knows. Four of them hiding behind the wall. taking cover uh, yeah two destroyed not take the uh, not taking that are we going to use explosives in order to wreck them out? Nah, I think it's shotgun time. Oh. 
trouble? Very dead. Ivan makes you up. Oh, these were the last two. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we got some armor, guys. We got some good, good armor. I think I'll take uh, the full su uh, suit with 37 over the kind of the half suit. That's fine. Got some grenades. That's good as well. Reload that with Breacher. Reload that with Armor Piercing as far as we can. Soon our Armor Piercing will be gone, but we can fabricate our uh, mm, further ammunition. Good, let's see if there is any more loot around. Oh, I do. I still have armor piercing now. We shouldn't waste our rounds. Good, I think I've pretty much tried to collect everything. Could double check the tents. Good, that was less dangerous than I would have anticipated. He was the one with the gas grenades. All right, we of course are getting zapped with another uh, with another trap, but luckily the traps are only 30 points of damage. So, of course, Ivan begins to uh, train his medical, as so often in this run. He's now at a whooping 21. Yeah, and we have figured out all of the things here. No point in delaying that. Let's move on. And see if we can gather some more loot. Good. This looks like a road with ha which has been destroyed by mud. Um, I think I remember there were a few landmines here. Might be wrong. Yeah, I might have been wrong. Okay. Yeah, no further secret containers or anything. This, however, is an area where there are a lot of landmines, so we got to be careful. All of this here is landmine area. Plus there are infected. Uh, and zombies crawling around. Yeah, 
not my favorite area, but we might be able to sneak through it if we're just taking a very, very defensive route. Not sure how good um, Ivan is in detecting landmines. The answer is potentially not fantastic. This guy's <laughs> just urinating. Can you kind of split just a little bit? Oh, he urinates again. Well, you can't be at. Now you must die. I move. Enemy In uh, that case, let's just wait. traps are detonating. You guys go and do whatever you need to do. Explosives, barrels, traps everywhere. Go fight the zombies. Just continuing to sneak <coughs> carefully over to the other side. My memory serves me well, there were <coughs> no mines right at the edge, so we should be able to uh, get through with it. But there are quite a few inf uh, infested ones. And there are a lot of light land mines. Another trap de detonated. They're fighting against the zombies. I have no idea who is going to win. But we're, u we're seeing full auto interrupt attacks, which interrupt tells me any, either they have overwatched or they are being hit and they do have the uh, perk that lets them fight back. No loot dropped yet, but that's okay. More landmines detonated. I think there are zombies here and someone standing here. I saw shots. Definitely a zombie here. At least two different um, soldiers are still remaining. Okay. Uh, over here would be the sign where we can read where all of the mines are actually located. There were mines around this guy, I remember it, but I don't remember where exactly. <clears throat> and we can't go through here.
All right, <clears throat> we're using frog leaping to speed up a bit. This is cover, so we will get more free movement. This is a guy in my blind playthrough who almost won and won uh, one of my guys down. Um, so he's oftentimes just standing there. I heard. Let's hope this is not triggering. In the meantime, the other side is just going completely wild. I see at least three of them down. Killed the sniper, one exploded. This guy is, I think, an infected one. So I killed three over here, three down over there, which means at best there are two. At best there are two more enemies. Um, and by enemies I mean living enemies. This here would trigger alarm. And also zaps us, continuing to hide. <clears throat> I sneak kill now. Good, we're gaining grit. <clears throat> An AR-15. High crit chance, low attack cost. That's a good weapon. But we don't have any mods for it. I left all of them later, uh, earlier. So all it is, is parts. Don't need that either. And turn. We're cashing that in. Unload, oh nice. Shotgun breacher shells. That was a wonderful find. One of the things that we needed. Good, we got control over the sector. That's what counts. And hence we can <coughs> travel further forward. Let's push on. I move. Okay. Lots of dead people here. <clears throat> Let's see if we can salvage something. I find the thing. Door is locked. Lamat? I think the answer will be no. It is ridiculous, by the way, that, uh, to see that in the entire run we have not found a single crowbar. We must have passed on so much loot just because we didn't have a crowbar. Uh, 
Uh, that's a good one, but we do have good armor as well. But thank you for deposit, uh, depositing that here. Quick travel through all of the forests here. Thankfully, we are traveling alongside a road. So funnily enough, this here is way faster than using a boat. I move. Boats are a bit deceiving. Так точно. Так точно. Yeah, and there is nothing here that would really warrant a longer investigation. Good, we're still 21st of April, so there is time left. A gas mask, nice, but uh, Ivan does not wear that. Okay, there's I think a second hidden stash somewhere here. He might be not good enough to spot it out. Pretty sure there was a second one. Good. We do have a full army squad here. I'm not sure if we should fight them or not. We do have armor, so there is no point in, in really going above and beyond to fight them. i rather... Uh, save my save my strength and begin to move all the way into the port so this will be a sneak operation best soldiers fight and do tasks same time без вопросов Good, let's take the, this route here on the left hand side because I'm quite sure that it is well less guarded than uh, the house up there. And we ju just need to get the puff address down then. One down. I, sneak. I know there is another one down there, but who cares? Ivan can't unfortunately get to level a um, 11. 10 is the max. that leaders okay we're going all the way there I want to make sure that I'm not accidentally going into the wrong sector I sneak. travel to K9 uh, that would be indeed That sector. Did 
Didn't I just see an option to shoot someone? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. They not see a rival of attack. Good. Finished our quest. Double checking, no one dropped any loot. And we're off. Good, I think I'll call it here. It was a long episode. Next time we're liberating Port Cacao and potentially per, uh, Port Ernie, depending on how uh, quick uh, that whole process is going. <clears throat> and uh, until then, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.